In this video, we're going to take a look at um, percent problems, and in particular, how to solve percent problems using proportions, so basically using what we learned last, um, last chapter. Basically, the setup for these can be classified, I'm going to go with this. First of all, if I look at what is the part of the number versus what's the whole amount, we'll equal whatever the percentage is over 100. The percent I'm going to leave as... If it's 36%, I'm going to leave it as 36, as we'll see on the next slide. Another way of doing this, um, or setting this up, is to keep the percent over 100, but to think about the part amount as being by the word is, and then the whole amount being by the word of. So most times people remember this as is over of is equal to the percent over 100. Once again, is over of. It goes in alphabetical order. So let's take a look at how to apply this. There are basically three main categories a problem can f fall under. The first is um, what's called finding a part. Okay. Finding is, basically. So if I'm going to set this up, I'm going to read through the problem. It says, what is... So that will go together, 60% of 420. So if I think about this as being my x, which is my is, because that's the unknown amount, this here is going to be the percentage out of 100, and the of 420 is going to be the 420. So my is is x, over my of, which is 420, is going to equal the 60 percent. In other words, it's going to be 60 out of 100. Okay, you'll notice I don't convert to a decimal or anything else. I just leave it as the as the um, percentage out of 100. How do I go about solving this? Well, one way is just to do a proportion. 100x is going to equal 420 times 60, which is going to be equal 25,200, and then I would just divide by 100 to get x. In this case, the zeros can just cancel out. Okay, My x value will end up equaling 252. So then I can check, is 252 out of 420, does that equal basically 60%? If I check it on a calculator, it will. So that's how I find the is. The is, the x, the numerator is unknown. The next setup is what can be classified, classified as finding the whole. Okay, finding the of. And I'm going to do something kind of similar. You'll notice the setup is kind of similar. The 30 is, okay. It's 75% is the percentage, and then the of what number is the unknown. So I set it up, is over of, so 30 out of the unknown value of x will equal 75 out of 100. I can go ahead and do my proportions. 100 times 30 is basically 3,000 equals 75x divided by 75 on both sides. My x value will end up equaling 40. Okay, and then I can check, is 30 over 40, is that going to be the same thing as equal to 75 over 100 or 75 percent? And yes it is. Okay, so once again, it's the same setup, is over of equals the percentage out of 100. My final one is about finding the percent. Okay, and it's going to be very similar. 25 is what percent of x? So the what percent will be x, the 25 will be the is, the of will be 250, equals what percent out of 100? If I go ahead, use my proportions, 
I'm going to get 2500 it's going to equal 250x divide by 250 and I'm going to basically get x will equal 10 okay so what that means is it's a percentage so it's going to be 10 percent I don't need to change it into a decimal or anything else because it's set up over a hundred so the actual amount that I get it will be my answer and that's pretty much about the setup for these